Tyler here with GP Knives, and we're here with our first in our series of question and answer videos, and let's jump right in. Sharp Bevel asks, how big is your company and how many employees do you have? Well, we're a small family owned company. We have eight full-time employees, and we have a 6,000 square foot facility that includes our storefront, our offices, and our warehouse. UGL asks, what is your most and least sold knife? Well, knife sales fluctuate and follow certain trends in the market, but generally we can answer it this way. The Griptilian series from Benchmade and from Spyderco, the Paramilitary 2, the Indura, and the Delica are probably our most sold knives. As far as our least sold knives, the clever answer is any of our one-off custom knives. Obviously, since there's only one, we can only sell one. Otherwise, you can take a look at our sale page. Any discontinued, overstocked, or slow-moving items will be seen there. This leads me into our next question from Steve Wellborn who asks, is it okay to make offers on knives that don't sell? Well, the short answer is yes, you can make offers. This doesn't guarantee, however, that your offer is going to be accepted. If you happen to see a custom knife that hasn't sold in over a year, contact us and we can probably work something out. Ogan Matic asks, besides the obvious money, what factors weigh into what knives you offer or don't offer? A related question from Jocko777 who asks, I'm just curious how you select the brands that you carry and the ones you don't. Well, there are five factors that play into how we choose the brands that we carry. One, demand. If there is a high demand for a brand, we will carry or consider carrying that brand. If there's something that we don't carry that you're really interested in, feel free to contact us via email at info at gpknives.com and we will happily take a look into that brand and potentially add it to our product line. Two, hype. New and unusual are often qualities that drive demand in the knife industry. As such, we maintain an awareness of any new models that are being released that have a following early on. Three, availability. Some companies and specific models are more readily or consistently available, which allows us to reliably provide those to our customers. Four, quality. If we have the opportunity to get a product in our hands and see its quality, that will influence our decision to carry that product. Also, we often meet knife makers at shows, and if we like them and find that they have a quality product, we'll often bring them on. Five, packaging. Certain companies or products use packaging that don't work well with our storage, display, or shipping infrastructure. Often these lines are simply not carried. Stony Beak One and David Lowry ask related questions. What do you hate that customers do, and what are our biggest pet peeves from customers both online and in the store? Online. Attempting to self-solve warranty issues, using or modifying a knife, and then attempting to send the used or modified knife back to us for return. Please let us know if you ever have any warranty issues, and we'll do our best to resolve those issues, and everyone wins. In store, bleeding on the knife. Just don't do it. And finally, Swag Magician asks, what are all of your favorite high-end EDC knives? Well, I've already posted a video of my top five EDC knives, and I'm gonna to link to that here. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel feed, and you'll get updates on all of our new videos, including any top five EDC videos that post in the future. We do have one final question from drummerboy1231, who asks, what our opinion is on whether titanium frame locks should have steel inserts, i.e. are steel inserts necessary on a frame lock? Well, we're gonna get into the answer to this question in a more in-depth video in the near future. We're gonna get into titanium frame locks in general, as well as titanium frame locks with carbonized lock faces and titanium frame locks with steel inserts. We wanna thank you for your participation and support. Feel free to continue with comments and questions, and we look forward to another Q&A session with you here in the near future. This is Tyler with GP Knives. Thanks for watching and stay sharp.